Guys, me and the skunk's having a head off here, and he's got his tail pointed toward me. He won't let me continue to track my deer, and he won't run off. So what do you do in this situation? Go ahead, get your ass away from me. I see your white butthole shining. I don't know how this is going to turn out. So my blood trail is going toward the skunk. All right, all right, all right, guys. Me and Blue Duck here have made a strike. Well, I hope it ain't called a strike. We have struck again for the second time for Blue Duck. Now, my arrow's down there. Looked like it was a shoot through, but she went a few feet and then it looked like it broke my hair in half. It looks like good blood. I tracked the blood about a hundred yards running down the fence row. And she jumped the fence and went into the briar thicket. So I decided to come back home, give her some time. I need to find her tonight or she ain't going to be good for me tomorrow, which right now I can care less about the meat. I just want to find the kill with my first kill with a trad bow. I'm going to get plenty of meat, but I don't like wasting a deer. So we're going to give her a little time and go back down there. I don't have no footage of shooting it because it was at the last... I mean, it was last minute I could shoot a deer before her and another one come out. And they come out across the field. They didn't come out of the woods. They come all the way across the field. Just like my hunt the other day. They was way out there. Way before dark. In the middle of the field. Slowly making their way over there to the feed. The food plot. Well. Then they got there to the food plot in my. Green food plot. Well then it's, they just stayed out there. Right on the outskirts of my shooting range until it started getting up there that last few minutes and then they come up there. And like I said, I wasn't that late. I wasn't even going to try to turn this camera on. One, I was scared the back light would light up, spook them off, and second, I know it's that late and then you ain't going to be able to see nothing no way but the deer. You ain't going to see where I hit it or nothing else. So I didn't waste no time trying to do that. But right now, I'm finna get these clothes off. I just got my net pants on with shorts under here, and I need to get some jeans on, because that thicket is a briar thicket. I'm gonna get me a good bright light, not just a little flash light. Actually, I got my light right here. I'm gonna take this cobalt, where I can have me like a lantern, and go see if I can find this baby. But hopefully, I'll get back with y'all in a few minutes. Well few seconds for y'all but I'm gonna wait about an hour or so and then I'm gonna go down there and look because the blood looks good it looks like it was a good shot so let's keep our fingers crossed all right guys so here's the kind of blood she's leaving She's dropping. And this is where I mark it where she jumped the fence. So I'm gonna go up in the ticket and see what I can find. Guys, me and the skunk's having a head off here, and he's got his tail pointed toward me. He won't let me continue to track my deer. And he won't run off. So what do you do in this situation? Go ahead, get your ass away from me. I see your white butthole shining. <laughs> Don't know how this is going to turn out. So my blood trail is going toward the skunk. Guys, I don't know what it is with the skunks. I ain't never had this issue. That's the second skunk. And they just stay in their ground. They turned that butt toy now. He's walking off now. So I hope my blood trail keeps going this way and don't curve over by him. 
There's blood be on steel. All right, guys. Looks like this may be strike three for the trad bows. It's 15 minutes till 10. Now, I tracked that deer for about 400 yards, and right before it got to a grass patch, it's a dry ditch. I don't know if it took off and sped up, but I never could get back on the blood, but I know it's a old pond out there about 300 yards. A lot of times wounded deer are head toward water and that's the only water around. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow, even though the deer won't be no good if I find it. I'm gonna go over there, circle around that pond, just looking to see if I can see anything. But I think I done bit off more than I can chew with this trad bow, guys. That's three, that's three times right there, so I don't know. I like it, and I want to kill one with it, but I don't like losing deer like that. So who knows? What am I going to do? I may just have to hang them up on the wall and look at them and wave my white flag and get my compound or my crossbow. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll check in with y'all tomorrow and let you know if I found anything. Well, guys, I went back this morning and I hunted another stand. Then I got down and I went back looking for this deer. And I actually never could get started on the blood from where I actually lost it last night. It was headed toward a pond, which is about 300 yards away. And I've always heard deer go to water when they wound it. But I went over there, looked the best I could. Around the pond, I ain't found nothing. So all I ended up with was a broke arrow, a bent broadhead, and a broken heart. <laughs> so that's officially strike three for the trad bow team. So I may have to give the trad bows a little break even here at the house just because I like to kill deer hate losing a deer, but that's part of it. But I'd have never thought I'd have done shot three and not got one of them. Guys, I wish I would have said I was going to shoot a deer this year with this bow and not that I was going to kill a deer this year with this bow. Because I am finding it very hard. I guess I just ain't having no luck at all. Alright guys, so y'all just hang with me and maybe something will turn out one day. Hope y'all have a great day and a blessed week. God bless. See y'all next time.